So we're going to do it different. I'm going to move Mr. G. I'm going to move the cam to Mr. G. Yeah. Oh boy, what a mess that cord is. Am I okay there, Kim? Oh. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a That's our boy. Mm -hmm. They make, we have them in Kitty City, the Rubbermaid totes. Mm -hmm. They're gigantic. And, um, you know, you, you, like that one, has the hole cut in front of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do that at the end or on the side. What kind of litter box is it that we have on him now? I have a big one with a lid on it. Okay, now I'll tell you one thing. Okay, and I'll tell you one thing too is um, people who work with cats with litter box problems, a few of the things they're going to ask at first is how many cats, how many boxes. And as you know, it's one cat is two boxes, two cats, three boxes, and on up. But the other thing they're going to ask is how clean do you keep it? And um, then the other thing is, uh, are they covered? And they recommend do not cover. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Cars one of the Some cats That's will, fine. but the highest amount of, uh, when you do your percent of cats that have trouble with litter boxes are those that are covered. And he is good with the box, so we don't want to, you know, encourage any problems. Yeah, just take the <laughs> lid off. They say they say um, a couple reasons is one that it kind of traps the odor in there, but also cats are always on guard so that if they can't get out, you know, it's it especially cats with in multi houses, they they don't like that feeling of being confined. Are you, and he's snoring. He's snoring right now. I hear him. Can you hear him? He'll do a real deep, are you snoring? Or you got your eyes away? Isn't he just the cutest thing? <laughs> You're not going to get much sweeter than him. All right. 